Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mixing Continents. Today we are diving into the rich history of a simple yet elegant classic cocktail, the Bee's Knees. And I will be showing you how to make it at home. If you are in a hurry, here's the 30 second spec. This is a cocktail that uses 60 milliliters or two ounces of gin, 22.5 milliliters or three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, and 22.5 milliliters or three quarters of an ounce of honey water. This is a shaken cocktail and you want to serve and strain into a chilled Nick and Nora glass and garnish with a lemon peel. So, contrary to popular belief, the original recipe for the Bee's Knees was created in Paris, France in 1929 and was brought over to the US where its popularity grew rapidly during the Prohibition era when the sale of alcoholic drinks was banned, which inevitably led to people making their own gin, low quality and unregulated, otherwise known as bathtub gin. Thus, they needed a way to mask that terrible flavour. Hence the surgeon appeal for the bee's knees. Now let's dig a little bit deeper into this cocktail and see what makes it tick. And to do that, we'll start by talking about the tools that you will need to make this drink. First, you want to get out a knife to be able to cut your garnish. A Mexican elbow to juice the citrus and a cocktail stick for our unique garnish today. Although a lemon twist or a peel will do just fine. And your trusty cocktail shaker, a jigger, followed by a fine strainer and a hawthorn strainer to ensure a smooth pour. Now onto the star players. Today I'll be using Lone Wolf Gin, crafted by Brewdog, for a distinct botanical flavor that includes Tuscan juniper, grapefruits, and hints of lavender. Next, we'll need some honey water, and we'll be using a one-to-one -one mix to get a good balance of sweetness, as well as fresh whole lemons to give us that zesty kick. And I would make sure to use quality honey and fresh lemon juice as it will significantly enhance the taste of your cocktail. Now let's create our unique garnish. To begin, get a knife or a peeler and start by cutting out a large strip from the lemon skin. Then trim all the edges to get a clean cut rectangle. And from there, start slicing around five to six slits down the middle of your peel. And once you're done, you want to fold it over secure it with a cocktail stick to keep it in place. Then fiddle around a bit a little bit more to form a decorative beehive design, which I think is quite fitting for this cocktail. So to make the drink, make sure to chill your glass first. I'm adding a few cubes of ice and topping it up with water. Then you'll want to add some ice to your shaker and start pouring in your ingredients. I'll be starting with the cheapest ingredients first. So to begin, start by adding 22.5 milliliters of your honey water for the sweetener, 22.5 milliliters of freshly squeezed lemon juice for that zesty kick, and to balance out your cocktail. And to finish things off, 60 milliliters of gin. Of course, I'm using Lone Wolf gin, but feel free to use whatever your favorite brand is. Then seal it tight and give it a good shake. Now when pouring your cocktail, make sure to double strain to remove any excess ice. And for the final touch, we're adding our unique garnish. Just to enhance the visuals that little bit more, I picked a fresh flower from the garden. This not only adds a touch of natural beauty, but also keeps in line with the bee-inspired theme for this drink. And there you have it, the bee's knees in all its glory. Classic cocktail that's loved for its simplicity and timeless appeal. It's crisp, refreshing, and zesty with light floral notes, and a perfect choice for those who enjoy a well balanced drink with a touch of sweetness. And that's how you make the Bee's Knees, a classic cocktail with a rich history and a delightful flavour profile. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more recipes and adventures, you can follow my blog at mixandmooch.com. But until then, cheers and I'll see you in the next episode.